As most of us have seen over the course of recent years, whenever it comes to adaptations, they tend not to be anything like what the actual source material is. And plus, they generally turn out pretty garbage. I, I really don't know what it is. It just seems like whenever it comes to most adaptations, it seems like the people working on them are trying to get as far away as possible from what the actual thing is. We've seen it, you know, just this year with the likes of Halo, Resident Evil, the Rings of Power. You could probably, you, you would need more than two hands, really, to count at this point. But one of them, as we've seen, has been The Witcher, which is, you know, something that I watched. I watched the first season and then lasted maybe about 10 minutes into season two and thought, mm, no, I'll just, I'll just give it a buy. But the reason why I bring up The Witcher is because a former producer claims some writers actively dislike the books and games. And again, this isn't just this isn't just The Witcher. This is pretty much everything you see. Every time we don't see, it never represents what the actual thing is. I think this is part of the reason why. And it's just, it's funny that we've actually had someone in Hollywood come out and say this. So, so this is coming from Bo DeMeo, and he worked on, well, he worked on some of The Witcher, and he's also doing X-Men 97. But this is just something, you know, it's not a shock. It's really not surprising that there's people turning up for work every day to work on their adaptation, and they actively dislike the books. I, we can probably guess why that reason is. You know, it's probably too many white people. That's my guess, considering most writers that get hired in Hollywood are all activists. So that's probably the reason why they dislike specifically The Witcher. But Bo DeMeo, a former producer and writer on The Witcher, has claimed that some writers on the Netflix series actively dislike the books and CD Projekt Red's games. It's just like, why, why, is, why are people there that dislike it? Why have Netflix hired people like that? It doesn't make any sense. And of course, as Bo DeMeo is about to put it, it's just, you know, you're just going for disaster when you go this route. But as reported by The Direct, DeMeo recently participated in a Q&A on his Instagram stories where he discussed his role as showrunner on X-Men 97. Speaking about how he assembled the production team for the project, he revealed that those involved had to be a fan of the material because that hasn't always been his experience. Now, this ain't, you know, this ain't getting me all hyped for X-Men 97. Probably still going to turn out shit because it's Disney. I don't really think anyone has any agency whatsoever, especially when it comes to creating something when, it, when you're working for Disney. So I think all this sort of stuff he's coming out with I don't think it's going to make any difference or give any hope for X-Men 97. But it's just interesting that he is actually bringing some of this up. But he says, I've been on the show, namely Witcher, where some of the writers were not or actively disliked the books and games, even actively mocking the source material. Now, if this was on a normal production, you'd probably say, yeah, just maybe, maybe leave out the door. Because it makes no sense to have people that don't like the material. Because you're trying to regain, an, you're trying to gain an audience that already knows what the what the source material is. That is who your core audience is to begin with. So it should always make sense to actually try and get those people. But as we've seen most times, it's like, nah, we don't want them. We want, I, I don't know, some non-existent audience. That's generally what it is. Uh, it's a recipe for disaster and bad morale. Fandom as a litmus test checks egos and makes all the long nights worth it. You have to respect the work before you're allowed to add to its legacy, which, of course, as we've seen, especially with the Rings of Power, there's been no respect for the work, even though the showrunners have constantly claimed we are reading the text like the Bible and stuff. It, you know, it's all bullshit at the end of the day. But this is what should be happening, and it seems like we're, we're actually getting a little bit of insight on what's going on. Because one of the things I do remember with The Witcher is I believe in season two it's when Geralt's horse dies and the I believe it was the showrunner Lauren Hisrich, they wanted the they wanted the scene like with the horse dying to be a comedy scene. But luckily enough, because Henry Cavill's such a Chad and he's been pretty much screwed over when it comes to The Witcher, he actually changed that and it turned out to be like the best scene in season two. 
So you can see little bits like that where it's like, yeah, you must you must really just treat the material like it's just silly. Like it's just silly. But it's really it's really not a surprise that we're seeing stuff like this come out. I don't think it makes a difference in the case of X-Men 97. But it's really not surprising that there's people working on these things. It's like, this is something we all knew. We all knew that there was people on pretty much everything. Whether it is Halo or Resident Evil, the recent Netflix series, which was absolute garbage. And nothing, nothing at all like Resident Evil. I wonder why that is. You know, mainly it's we want to we wanna use the Resident Evil name. But we don't actually want to make Resident Evil because that's toxic or whatever. That's the type of people you have in Hollywood. So I can only imagine that is that is what their <laughs> what their thoughts are when it comes to comes to these brands, these IPs and franchises. So it's not a surprise that they actively dislike the books and games. It's really not a surprise. <laughs>